Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, this year is a very quick update video on the shield printing um, that's been going on over the past couple of weeks and I wanted to give a short, um, well, just some info about what I've been printing and the problem that I've been having. And um, yeah, so I've been printing two types of face shields. Uh, this year is a very simple one. Um, it's from the Maker vs. Virus um, website. And uh, I like it a lot because it's extremely light and it still has a really good coverage. Um, and um, you can either use it as a um, simple but very long one or you could just put your A4 foil um, basically in, in landscape mode in here and, uh, and, it, and it becomes a lot wider but it's then shorter. Um, but what you can see with this one here is uh, actually the the foils that I'm using they're not 100% translucent and there's there's a really really big difference in the quality you can get here. So this is basically the material that I've started out with and um, I gave that to a friend of mine. Uh, she's a dentist and she tried this out and she said it was very very hard to see through this foil um, although looking at it it seems almost um, perfectly clear but but there's a very slight shimmer to it and she couldn't use this to work so i went out and i bought other foils and um, they're extremely expensive <laughs> they really are um, but they're 100 percent clear and this is the this is the other orientation and if there wasn't any light in here you could you can almost not make it out against the background. It is so clear. Um, but one of these foils is like 70 euro cents. Um, they're really, really expensive, but from a quality point, they are absolutely excellent. And I've made, I've made a boatload of these and um, I've given a few more away and the feedback that I was getting from the masks was really, really good. Uh, the only people who said they couldn't use them uh, were people um, running in, in the Red Cross ambulances because they have to leave them in the car and even at temperatures of around I don't know 40 to 60 uh, Celsius these here started um, deforming just a little uh, but they started uh, warping and they weren't really impressed with that um, but apart from that uh, the masks themselves um, they were quite happy with them I have to put these away and I have other masks that I've been making, for example, I've got to grab one. Um, I have the Prusa mask with the same foil, um, but this foil is rather hard uh, to drill or to get holes into because um, although I have a uh, infrared laser right now um, it won't cut this stuff I don't know why so I resorted to having a drill um, with with uh, with a slight hole in a piece of wood and running the drill backwards and it would basically um, uh, it would just melt a hole into the foil and that worked really well and um, the the Prusa masks are pretty good. The only downside to them is um, that they're not closed at the top, um, which as far as I've been told um, is kind of a no-go for a dentist or so. So they really ha like to have them closed at the top. And uh, those did work out well. 
Then I made these here. These are also the Prusa shields, um, but I made them with, uh, with another type of foil, which once again is not 100% clear. Uh, you can really make out the difference in quality of, of the foil material, uh, but this foil material is uh, 250 micro and um, it's a lot harder uh, but at the same time you, you can't see through it quite that well and um, I'm going to be giving that one away tomorrow I guess and let's see if I get any feedback for most people that I give stuff you never hear anything of them again they're just gone uh, the only really positive feedback that I've been getting uh, was that I always when I give people masks like that I always give them at least three different colors um, so people just know whose mask had which color and I think it's kind of a fun thing and they're not they're not really they're, they're not medical equipment um, they're just those little helpers but um, you can't buy them right now or they're extremely expensive and the uh, the last type of mask that I was uh, trying to make and I had no luck in that um, these are once again the Prusa frame and for these I was using a 0 0.7 millimeter um, ABS um, or, or acrylic uh, sheet material and they they just these they look okay for a day or so um, but once they get any temperature they break and um, with these this is due to the material um, I ordered a bendable material uh, but I think they gave me something different. I've had material like this before. Um, you have to uh, heat drill this, uh, but this here, this starts breaking really simple um, and it just seems to be really cheap acrylic. Um, not the not the better type, the, the I don't know if they temper it. it, it's they do something to it and then it becomes a lot more pliable and I've had that before and I've ordered it at the same place and I, th I thought it was the same stuff uh, but it's not and I only make I only make like made three of them and um, all of them have the same problem that even though I would either laser cut the holes or um, or drill them using the um, going backwards just for the just with the heat um, these always ended up breaking so that wasn't too great um, but yeah you've got to exper experiment a bit and um, so if you were wondering how you can um, this is PLA uh, if you can actually sanitize that or, or get it clean again um, with PLA, the only thing that you can really do is uh, wipe this off with uh, loads of IPA. Um, you can't use heat uh, to sterilize it. Um, you can't use anything else. The only thing that really works is um, IPA because the material is uh, porous and it doesn't stand heat. So the only thing left to do is just put something in there that just kills uh, bacteria and viruses and whatever and make sure that um, that it doesn't warp too bad and the IPA uh, takes care of that and um, I suppose that is the methods that they tried out um, there's a lot of information on on these things um, sterilization, uh, different material qualities, what you can use them for um, on the maker versus virus uh, websites. 
I can really um, I can I really like it uh, yeah so that's uh, what all the mask making was about that was going on for the uh, past two weeks I'm actually out of filament now um, I've never thought this would happen and I was really shocked when I got the notification that my uh, order for PLA filament could not be fulfilled because they don't have any at all and I kind of stick to the make that I have and I try to order the same stuff I've ordered some of the Amazon basics filament um, but it's it's not worth for me it's not worth using it I've tried some others and I always come back to the same stuff um, this here is from uh, Prima Filaments and I I really want to stick with that stuff. Yeah, so that's it for now. Um, I've been doing a lot of printing, um, but uh, I seem to be able to make, uh, to have a pause and do something else. So let's see what transpires. So thank you very much for watching. And for those of you wondering, this is also my 200th uh, YouTube video. Um, Funny thing how time goes by. Thanks for watching and bye bye.